All right, hey Gemini. So I'm doing a look ahead at the month of January, um, and it's going to be a very general read, you guys. So you're, I'm going to pull the collective energy and the cause, and then we're just going to go through the moon phases um, and all that good stuff. So um, if you guys are new, welcome. Uh, I will be putting these videos out between today, the first, and tomorrow, the second. And so um, if this energy doesn't re resonate, you guys, please check those other placements. Um, so we're just going to see what your energy is. Gemini. So we got death, um, transformation, and rebirth, healing. I feel like you guys are kind of experiencing um, a definite transformation when it comes to the, the um, energy most prominent. So it could be, you know, the ending of a relationship, you know, the start of something new coming out of, uh, you know, um, you know, like that uh it's not going to happen. You know, you got your healing, relaxation. You got some positive energy coming through. Um, and I feel like um, that five of pentacles energy is loss. It's sadness. It's, you know, kind of having um, not a high, um, uh, not a high hope. Okay. For whatever it is, it's transpiring. You guys, this could be many things. It could be that you're, you found a job, you know, you lost a job. It could be that you um, have been single for a while and you felt kind of lonely, but you've snapped out of it and you started to look at yourself um, and your desires, you know, differently. Um, I can't help but feel like, you know, for all of these general reads, everybody's going to be go going through something different, but we're going to have the similar experiences. Okay, so uh, I could be going through um, a relationship and you guys could be going through a job, you know, ending not there, wasn't there, wasn't happening, and then boom, a transformation at its finest, okay? So you got your joy coming through. That star card is all about wishes. It's hope. It's positive energy. So I'm just going to pull, and we're going to see what this is. All right, so the energy coming through for you guys. Um, look at that. You got your seven of pentacles. I feel like this is um, everything to do with a connection um, that is something that left you behind. Obviously, again, I'm going to say this. It's something that was taken from you um, that is now currently being healed. Okay, you're putting yourself above all else. You're prioritizing yourself. Um, and I feel like when you prioritize yourself um, and, and you take care of yourself, you guys start to see beautiful things happen and unfold. All right. Again, this um, could be a relationship um, that you had to leave or they walked away from you. It's it's coming through as healed. So there's been something healing. There's been a rekindling. There has been something that has reintroduced itself to your life. It might not be the same thing that left you beforehand, but something better. Okay. Um, and I feel like you guys are just kind of sitting there on top of the world right now. Um, again, beautiful energy. So I'm going to start with the full moon, which is everything to do with release. So the focus on your release for January, you have, you are very close to achieving your goal. So let's pull and see what that goal is. What is this release? Um, it's, if you guys, um, look at that, you have your ace of cups coming through, which is that emotional new beginning. You got your hierophant card coming through, which is all about order. It's rules, it's stabilization. You got your two of wands also coming through. So I feel like, you know, the more you decide to disconnect from whatever it was that had you in that energy, the better off you are going to find yourself. Okay. I feel like some of you guys are already experiencing what it means to disconnect from whatever it was that had you in that energy in the first place. Okay. Um, but I feel like for, you know, this is coming through. I feel like more highlighted for those who it, it's like, okay, continue doing what you're doing to move away from the negative energy. Okay. Cause you, it looks like you guys are already on your way. Um, to doing that. So if you are focused on an outcome, if you're worried about a job, if you're worried about, um, you know, your stability in life when it comes to your connections, no matter what they are, I feel like when you um, release control of outcome, that's when you start to see beautiful things happen. And the Ace of Cups, I do feel like is, is saying you get your you get your new beginning when you are not so focused on the outcome. So you're very close to achieving your goal says the more you, you the more you focus on releasing and staying I am you know staying in your presence the more stabilized you're going to see um life change, okay? The more stabilized I feel like life becomes for you. Um, so the first quarter is, you know, it's all about obstacles and decisions that need to be made for you. The first quarter moon I don't know the dates of the moons that are coming through. I the full, the first one starts right here, so the full moon is on January 6th. And then we go to the first quarter moon, so communication is key with the new moon in Gemini. So let's just see what that um obstacles or decisions are that you are being called to make this month. All right. Um yeah, look at that. I can't help but feel like uh, you guys are probably dealing with 
love, okay, matters of the heart. You got your lover's card. You got judgment card coming through. And we got justice, okay? So the decisions to um, step away from um, people, places, and things that aren't serving its highest good in your life, the decision to continue to move away from that and step into you, um, choose you first no matter what, I feel like that's when you start to see um, positive karmic rewards. Judgment card is a card of change, grow, rebuilding, and releasing what no longer serves you. Justice is a card of rewards, okay? Um, karma and success. And the lover's card is staying committed. So the more you commit to yourself, no matter what it is you are dealing with, the more you decide to stay committed to yourself, the more growth that you put into yourself, um, the more um, this this illusion of not having goes away and once you kind of um once you kind of internalize that idea whatever it is that you want to become yours it becomes yours even further okay so i feel like that is um you know what your guys's experience is going to be about this month it could be too that you guys have a few different things going on in your life okay so um let's just see um and the, the communication is key um as far as obstacles and decisions, you know, that could be communicating with your guides, yourself, your prayers, you know, your affirmations, you know, that communication, I just feel is you start to get, you, you start to see new things unfold for you when you start uh, um, um, communicating what it is you want. You communicate properly and appropriately to the universe and the universe hears you. All right. So let's just see what that new moon is um, bringing to you. The new moon, um, the new energy is coming through for you. This month in January, um, you got a time for healing coming through. So there's going to be something that is definitely healed with that new moon. I can't believe I can't help but feel like you guys are. It's like, yeah, new beginnings coming through, right? A time for healing comes with that new moon. Look at that. Something that you were very conflicted about. Um, you're going to see resolve. You're going to see reconciliation. You're going to see communication coming through. Okay. I just love how these cards are kind of falling into, um, you know, an alignment. Um, because whatever you were conflicted about, everyone's going through something different, right? You're going to see resolve. You got incoming communication. You got incoming communication with the Page of Cups. Pages are messengers. And the Eight of... Um, you know, wands is, that's a very, very passionate um, situation that you're dealing with here that brings you a lot of joy and a lot of hope. Okay. Um, I, I can't stress enough. Everybody is going through something different, but it's whatever is burdening you the most or whatever has burdened you the most is what you're going to see the biggest transition in. Um, if some of you guys are looking for work and then, you know, you, you, in that um, mix, you got um, separated from a loved one, you know, that could be that you're, you're going to be dealing with both uh, coming back to you at the same time. All right. Um, so I feel like the more you kind of tune into yourself, the more um, patient you are with yourself and the more you reinvest back into yourself with positive energy, positive, um, you know, changes start to happen for you. Um, the last quarter moon is working through your fears with that uh, new moon in Scorpio. So um, last quarter is the changes that you can make to stay on track. So that's kind of in alignment with work through your fears. So work through your fears is what the focus of this month is working through your fears to stay on track. All right. Do not overthink. Do not overanalyze. Don't over obsess about anything. Focus on yourself. That queen of wands energy coming through. All right. You got your three of wands. Look at that shifting cycles, the world card. Okay. Your three of um, swords coming through. It talks about that loss, that feeling, that, that neglected feeling, um, you know, that you guys have been going through that you've been feeling again, whether it's a person, a work, um, you know, a place, a thing. Um, I just feel like this is a situation, again, that's going to be different for everyone. Um, but the changes that you can make to stay on track is to work through the fears, um, especially if you guys have fear, uh, gone through a loss with a person. Just know that when you can close out that cycle of fear and loss and heartache and um, feeling pain for whatever isn't here at the present moment, once you kind of close that door out, it's almost like you're going to see that sudden shift come back through for you. Um, you know, and sometimes when we have to walk away or disconnect from these people, places and things, sometimes that's all the only option we have to see better things come through for us. Okay. So I'm going to pull to see what your, um, your, uh, potential to unlock and grow your magic, your, um, spiritual gifts, uh, that is going to be on your lunar return. So you're going to look up the, the lunar return for Gemini in the month of January, it's a two and a half day period where um, if you focus, um, it, it, you kind of eat to your version of healthy. If you, you kind of, uh, you know, invest in yourself appropriately around that time of month, um, you're going to see um, some changes and transformations come through. Uh, 
there's a, a oil that comes down from the uh, back of the brain, comes down the spine, and when it reaches the sacral chakra, um, it goes back up and it starts to activate the uh, parts of the brain that are sleeping. As long as you don't squander the energy, the squander the energy is sexually. So chastity belt for you know two and a half days this month. All right, and so you're gonna see um, you're gonna see focus um, on ancestors come through. Okay, you got historical connections and purposes. So you guys could be, um, you know, talking or communicating or having access to, um, you know, your ancestors, your spirit guides. You got historical connections and purposes. And it could be, too, that you guys are being told or shown what your purpose is right here in life, especially if you guys have experienced a lot of confusion. Okay, so let's get another um, magic card. You guys wanted, they wanted two to pop out. Look at that healing. Um, true healing of the mind, body, and soul is coming through. And you got earth. Ask the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. So that is um, the the magic and, um, you know, the positive energy you're going to experience on your lunar return. Okay. And so to close this out, we're just going to see what the overall month ahead of January looks like for you, Gemini. Oh, look at that. It's going to be peaceful. It's going to be balanced, harmonized. You got bliss. You got um, love. You got success. You got fulfillment coming through. So, you, you know, this right here is all about, yeah, you know, your inner strength, perseverance. All right. You got your queen of pentacles also coming through right here, which is heightened. Up. It's like um, independence. It's nurturing. It's being practical, um, you know, having that the practical mindset too. Uh, being practical for what your um, uh, wishes are. Um, hey, you know, you want something good to happen to you or for you, especially for you guys dealing with a certain specific situation. Um, the more practical you are about outcome, the more practical you are with yourself, the more you're going to see that um, come through for you. Okay. This is also a, a balance in work, home, kids, all that. You're going to see balance come back through this, this whole month. Um, balance, balance, and then you got strength, you got resilience, you got purpose coming through. So you guys, um, I, this is the first time I've done these type of reads, so hopefully um, it hits you uh, where you need to be felt. Uh, take care. I'm going to leave it here.